us get down to business and look at the Quran itself. And I would like to remind you that uh, all the items you're going to see are factual observations. They're all physical facts in the Quran. So here is a big Quran that we can see together. And the first item of this miracle is that the first verse in the Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, consists of 19 Arabic letters. Here they are: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen letters, and the whole Quran has 114 surahs, as we see here. The last surah is number 114. And 114 is a multiple of 19. 19 times 6. And uh, it consists by, uh, of 6 verses, by the way. So 19 times 6 gives us the total number of surahs in the Quran. 114. Now, if we count from this surah towards the other surahs, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, and 19, we find that number 19 is the first revelation in Quran, Surah number 96, and it says, Iqra, Bism Rabbika Alladhi Khalaq, the first revelation. So, the first Surah revealed is positioned in the Quran atop the last 19 Surahs in the Quran. You also notice that this surah consists of 19 verses. The first revelation was 19 words exactly. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then go to the next page. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This was the first revelation through the Prophet Muhammad and it consisted of 19 words. If you count the letters in these 19 words, you find that the, the total is 76. 19 times 4. And if you count uh, the letters in the whole surah, the first surah revealed, you find that the total is 285 letters, or 19 times 15. The last surah revealed was surah number 110. And it consists also of 19 words. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the last revelation and the first revelation consisted of 19 words. Now, if you go back to the very beginning, the first verse in the Quran, as you heard before, the first verse of the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, consists of 19 letters. Every word, there are four words here, and every word is mentioned in the Quran a number of times, which is consistently a multiple of 19. The word is, which means name, is mentioned in the Quran 19 times exactly. If you wish to use the word Bism, it is mentioned three times but if you add the numbers assigned to the verses and surahs where the three times of Bism occur, the total is 114, 19 times 6. The second word, Allah, is mentioned in the whole book 2,698 times. 
or 19 times 142. The third word, Ar-Rahman, is mentioned in the whole Quran 57 times, or 19 times 3. The last word, Ar-Rahim, is mentioned in the whole book 114 times, or 19 times 6.
12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. We didn't get to Surah 27 yet. This is 25. Which is the 17th surah from the missing Bismillah. Here is 18. And you'll find that the surah that has two Bismillahs, surah number 27, is surah number 19. From the missing Bismillah to the extra Bismillah, from surah 9 to surah 27, we find exactly 19 surahs inclusive. This is the surah that has two bismillah. And it is surah number 19 after the missing bismillah of surah 9. From the missing bismillah in surah 9 to the extra bismillah in surah 27, there are 19 surahs. So when you count the surahs from the missing Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim of Surah 9 to the extra Bismillah in Surah 27, you find 19 surahs. Now, what's this? If you add the numbers of the surahs, the numbers assigned to the surahs from 9 to 27, from the missing Bismillah to the extra Bismillah, that is 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13, all the way to plus 26 plus 27, the total is 342, which is a multiple of 19. It is 19 times 18. And this is half the story. You add the numbers of the surahs from the missing Bismillah to the extra Bismillah, 9 plus 10 plus 11 all the way to 27. The total, 342, is exactly the number of words between the two Bismillahs of Surah 27. The number of words as you see here. This total 342 is exactly the number of words between this Bismillah in Surah 27 and the second Bismillah of Surah 27. You count these words, you count all these words and you'll find that the total up to this word here before the second Bismillah up to this word, the total is 342, which equals the total of the numbers of surahs from the missing Bismillah to this extra Bismillah. <laughs> Six thousand three hundred and forty-six, 
which is a multiple of 19. The total number of ayat verses in the Quran, 6,346 or 19 times 334. As I mentioned before, there are 29 surahs of Quran that are initial with these Quranic initials. And the first initial in the Quran is in surah number 2, the first verse. Alif, Lam, Mim. The last initial is the initial noon in surah number 68, which is right here. This initial here is the last initial. This here is the first initial, and this is the last initial. The number of ayat or verses in this section here, from the first initial to the last initial, is 5,263 ayat or verses. 19 times 277. You just start at Alif Lam Mim, the first Quranic initial, and you count all the verses in here up to this verse in Surah 68. And you'll find that the total is 5263 or 19 times 277. Also, if you count the word Allah in this section between the first initial and the last initial, you'll find that the total of the word Allah here is 2,641, which is a multiple of 19. 19 times 139, 139. And of course, if you count the word Allah outside of this section, that will be here and before Alif Lam Mim. The word Allah is 57 times. It's found 57 times, or 19 times 3. In the section from the first initial Alif Lam Mim to the last initial Nun, there are exactly 38 surahs without initials. The uninitial surahs here are 38 which is a multiple of 19, 19 times 2. So this is another physical fact. Now, I mentioned that outside of this section, there are 57 words Allah that's outside the initial section of the Quran, in this part and this part to the end. There are 57 words, Allah. If you add the numbers of the surahs, the numbers assigned to the surahs, like this number here, and the numbers assigned to the verses, the total is 2,432, or 19 times 128. Now I'm talking about the numbers assigned to the surahs and verses, where you find the word Allah outside of the initial section. You add these numbers assigned to the surahs and to the verses, wherever you find the word Allah, and the total is a multiple of 19. Well, this proves that the numbers assigned to the surahs and the numbers assigned to the verses are from God, not from humans. <laughs>
is mentioned in the Quran 57 times. That is 19 times 3. Isn't that profound? And if you add the numbers of the surahs and the numbers of verses where the word the Quran is found, the total is 2,660, which is 19 times 140. I'm talking about the numbers, for example, this word here, Al-Quran, is in Surah 17. See, the Surah number is 17. And the verse number is 45, as you see here. You take these numbers, the 57 times where the word Quran is found in the Quran, and you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of the surahs all together, the total is 2,660 or 19 times 140. There are other grammatical forms of this word, Al-Quran, like Quran and Qur'anahu, and if you add all the surahs and all the verses, the numbers of the verses and the numbers of the surahs, where these forms, different forms of the word Qur'an is found, the grand total is 3,363 or 19 times 177. Of course, the word Qur'an is very special and this is why it is so intricately composed within the Qur'an. <laughs> The first pillar of Islam, mainly that God is one, is mentioned in the Quran exactly 19 times. That Allah Wahid, God is one, is mentioned in the Quran exactly 19 times. Now, there's also the word Wahdahu, worship God alone. This commandment to worship God alone, Wahdahu, is mentioned in the Quran five times and if you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of surahs where the word Wahdahu, worship God alone, occurs, the total is 361 or 19 times 19. So this emphasizes the importance of worshiping God alone. The word Wahid, referring to God as one, is mentioned in the Quran 19 times and the word Wahdahu is mentioned five times, but when you add the verses and surahs, numbers, where this word Wahdahu is found, the total is 361, 19 times 19. Let's keep it there. For example, this word Wahdahu happens in verse 12 of surah number 40. So you take this number 40 and the number of the verse 12 and you do this with every time you see the word Wahdaw in the Quran and the total is 361, 19 times 19. <laughs> of Islam, the Salat, the Zakat, the Hajj, and Siyam are mentioned in the Quran 114 times or 19 times 6. And when you take the word Salat, for example, which happens in the Quran 67 times, 
and you take the numbers of verses and the numbers of the surahs where every time you see this word salat and you add them up the total is a multiple of 19 it is 4674 or 19 times 246 the word salat throughout the Quran you add the verses and the num and the, the numbers of the verses and the numbers of surahs where the word salat occurs and the total is 4674 or 19 times 246 if you go to the word zakat you find that zakat and hand you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of surahs where zakat and hajj are found and the total is 2,888 or 19 times 19 times 8 this is zakat and hajj together you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of the surahs throughout the Quran where you see zakat and hajj When you look at the word Siyam in the Quran, the whole Quran, the fasting of Ramadan, you will see that it occurs six times. And if you add the numbers of the verses to the numbers of the surahs, every time you see this word Siyam uh, in, in all its forms, the total is 1387 or 19 times 37. So the basic pillars of Islam, the numbers assigned to the surahs and verses where these words are found, all these numbers are multiples of 19. times 3. Now, when you go back to Surah Qaf here, you notice that Qaf is 
a symbol or stands for Quran. Q stands for Quran or Qaf here stands for Quran. And if you add the 57th Qaf Q of this surah, number 50, plus the 57th Qaf or Q in surah number 42, also 57, 57 plus 57 is 114, which is exactly the same number as the surahs of Quran. 57 plus 57 equals 114, the number of surahs in Quran. You notice that the letter Surah Qaf is number 50 and it consists of 45 verses. If you add the number of the surah, which is 50, to the number of verses in the surah, which is 45, the total is 95 or 19 times 5. Well, this is half the story. If you go to the only other surah initiated with Qaf, which is surah number 42, you see that the number of verses is 53. And if you add the number of the surah to the number of the verses, you get exactly the same total as surah Qaf, which is 95. 42 plus 53 is 95, or 19 times 5. And with surah Qaf, 50, the number of the surah plus the number of verses, 45, 50 plus 45 is 95 or 19 times 5. In this surah, the Quran is described as Majid. Qaf wal Quran al Majid. And this word, Majid, has its numerical value is 57, which is the number of the letter Qaf in this surah. Majid, the M is 30. The Jim is 3, the Ya is 10, and the Dal is 4, and you add these numbers, 30 plus 3 plus 10 plus 4, the total is 57, 19 times 3. When the Quran was revealed, there were no numbers. These letters were used as numbers. So you can look at the meme as the letter Me or M, and also as the numeral 30. The same with the other letters. So this is a universal established system of uh, where the alphabet letters are used as numbers. <coughs> when you go to Surah 68, which is initialed with the letter Nun, N, if you count the letter N, wherever you see it in this Surah, you find that the total is 133, 19 times 7. In the Quran, there are three surahs initial with the letter Sad. The first one is surah number 7. It is initial with the letters Alif, Lam, Mim, Sad. The second surah that's initiated with this letter is surah number 19, surah Maryam, which has five initials, kaf, ha, ya, ayn, saad. So this is the second surah where we see the initial, the letter saad as an initial. The third surah initial with this letter is surah number 38, which is also entitled Sa'ad. The name of the surah is Sa'ad, and the initial is Sa'ad. So these are three surahs initial to the letter Sa'ad, and when you count the letter Sa'ad in the three surahs, the total comes to 152, or 19 times 8.
with the letters Ya Sin, two letters, Ya and Sin. It is Surah number 36. See, the first verse is the two letters, Ya and Sin. And if you count these two letters, Ya and Sin, in the whole Surah, the total is 285, or 19 times 15. So you see that consistently, the Surahs, contain a number of their initials that is consistently a multiple of 19. There are seven surahs initialed with the letters Ha and Me. Seven consecutive surahs, beginning at surah number 40. See, there's surah number 40. Initiated with the letters Hamim. The whole verse consists of just the two letters Hamim. Seven consecutive surahs. This is the last one, surah number 46. It is initialed with the letters Hamim. And you count these distinctive, unique letters Ha and Mim in the seven surahs. And you find that the total is 2,147. The total of Ha plus Meem in the seven surahs. This is 19 times 113. 2,147. This means if only one letter Ha or one letter Meem was lost or added in the last 1,400 years, the whole mathematical system collapses. But as it is, you count them right now in any Quran, anywhere in the world. And you find that Ha and Mim in the seven Ha Mim initial surahs totals 2147 or 19 times 113. Surah number 42 has two sets of initials. As you have just seen, it has the initials Hamim in verse 1, and verse 2 of this surah has the initials Ain, Sin, Qaf, three letters. Ain, Sin, and Qaf. And if you count these three distinct letters in this surah, Ain plus Sin plus Qaf, the total is 209. Or 19 times 11. Surah number 19 has the largest or the biggest set of initials. It has five letters. This is Surah number 19, and it is initialed with five letters Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad. And you add, you count. These letters in this surah, the five letters, total 798, or 19 times 42. Now, I wish to remind you that the letter Saad, for example, interacts or is interlocking with the other Saad initial surahs, surah number 7 and surah number 38. You remember that this letter Saad in the three Sa'd initial surahs is 152 or 19 times 8, but it also is intricately intertwined with these letters in this surah to give us a total of 798 or 19 times 42. So you can see that this mathematical system 
is far beyond human capability. with these letters Alif Lam Mim A L M they are surahs number 2 3 29 30 31 and 32 this happens to be surah number 32 and every single one of the six surahs contains a total of these letters which is a multiple of 19 every everyone for example, surah number 2 contains 9,899 of these letters. And that's a multiple of 19. 19 times 521. Surah number 3 also contains a multiple of 19 of these letters, Arif, Lam, Mim, and so on. Every one of the six surahs contains a total of Alif plus Lam plus Mim, which is a multiple of 19. with these three letters Alif, Lam, Ra A, L, R and every single one of the five surahs contains a total of Alif plus Lam plus Ra which is a multiple of 19 every one to 5,320 which is 19 times 280 
And again, I wish to remind you that this letter sad interlocks between this surah and the other sad initial surahs, surah number 19 and surah number 38, and every time within the surah and also with its sister surahs where the letter sad is found, the totals are consistently a multiple of 19. is initialed with the letters Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra four initials Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra when you count these letters Alif plus Lam plus Mim plus Ra in this surah you find that the total is 1482 19 times 78 There are five surahs in the Quran initialed with the letters uh, Ha, as we see in Surah 19 here. There's the letter Ha, one of the five initials in Surah 19. And then in Surah Ta Ha, there it is, Ta Ha, and the initials. Ta Sin Mim in Surah number 26, right here. Ta Sin Mim, and in Surah 27, it is the initials Ta Sin, right here. And Ta Sin Mim in Surah number 28. Me. You count these letters in the five surahs and you find that the total is 1767 or 19 times 93. The people keep asking, why 19? Why did God choose the number 19 as the common denominator throughout the Quran to prove every element of the Quran? The numbers of verses, the number of surahs, the numbers of words from a certain root, uh, the numbers of letters, the initials, as you have seen. And uh, we find the number 19 in the Quran, in surah number 74, verse number 30. We find the number 19 and we find it connected with the proof that the Qur'an is not human-made. Uh, some people uh, say the Qur'an is human-made. In هَذَا إِلَّا قَوْلُ الْبَشَرِ As it says in Surah number 74, verse 25. And God says the answer to these people is the number 19, as we see in verse 30 of Surah 74. Now, why 19? It turns out that 19 is God's signature on everything He created. As to the answer to the question, why 19? We discovered that 19 is the basic message of the Quran because 19 is the numerical value of the Arabic word one. So the whole message of the Quran is God alone. God is one. Worship God alone. And 19 is the numerical value of the word wahid in Arabic. When the Quran was revealed, there were no numbers. The alphabet letters were used as numbers, and the letter Wow also served as the numeral six. The letter Alif was one, the letter Ha was eight, and the letter Dal was four. Wahid, six plus one plus eight plus four. The total is 19. And this is why 19 is the common denominator throughout the Quran, proving every aspect every element of the Qur'an.